The Story of Copacoanan, the Seal Woman. Long ago, in the village of Mikla de Lure, on the island of Kalsoy, of the Faroe Islands, north of Scotland, a young farmer was pondering tales he had heard of Selkies. He had been told that those who took their own lives in the ocean would become seals, and that they were permitted to return to the land for just one night each year. On the 13th day of the year, he snuck down to the beach to see if the stories were true. He arrived before the sun went down, hid behind a large rock, and waited. Eventually he saw them, droves of seals swimming towards the land. It was true. When they reached the land, they removed their skin and cast it aside. Underneath, they looked no different to humans. The farmer's eyes fixed onto a beautiful girl, and his heart was beating strongly as she walked towards him. She lay her seal skin close to him, but did not see him. Once all the seal people had gathered, they began to dance and play through the night. Whilst they frolicked, the farmer quietly reached out for the skin that had been discarded near to him. He went unnoticed. When the sun began to rise, the seal people quickly ceased their fun and reclaimed their skins to put them back on and return to the sea. Only one remained, the pretty girl whose skin the farmer had taken. She started to panic, but continued to search as she could smell that her seal skin was still nearby. Once he was sure that no one else was left, the young farmer stepped out with the skin in his hand. Ah, my skin! Please give it back to me! She asked. No. Please. She begged. Please. I need it. If the stories I've heard are true, then as long as I have this... He notioned to the skin that he clutched in his hands. You are bound to me. You are obligated to love me and be my companion. He turned towards his home, and she followed. The seal girl became his wife, and they had children together. He locked away her skin in a chest and kept the key on him at all times, worn around his belt on a chain. Many years later, the farmer was fishing with some friends and suddenly realised that he had left the key behind. In panic, he called out, Today, I shall lose my wife. Surprising the other men, he explained everything to them and they quickly turned back to the land. He ran home to find his wife was gone and his children waiting for him. Sometime later, the farmer joined some of the other men on the island to hunt the coastal caverns for seals. His selkie bride appeared to him in a dream the night before and pleaded that if he was to go on the hunt to spare a large bull seal and two pups that resided in one of the caverns, whose coats she described to him, for they were her true husband and children. The farmer ignored the plea, and he and the other men killed as many seals as they could. His reward for the day was a large bull seal and the flippers of two seal pups. That night, he planned to dine on the pup's flippers and the bull seal's head. When he had finished cooking, he heard a loud noise from within his home. A frightening and hideous troll entered the room and gazed upon the meal. Here lie the head of my husband with his broad nostrils, the hand of Harek and the foot of Frederick. Now there shall be revenge, revenge on the men of Mikla de Lure, and some will die at sea and others fall from the mountaintops until there be as many dead as can link hands all around the shores of the Isle of Kalsoy. Then she vanished, and there was thunder in the sky. From that day forth, whenever a man died on the island from drowning or falling, the islanders knew that the seal woman's revenge was not yet complete.